Operation Enema with Ethan Briggs and Will White. Good evening, and this is Information Enema. First on the docket, officials at Trump University are calling the program a lie and a scheme. Breaking news, people. Trump is lying to you. Oh, shit. No, I'll be honest with you. If you're stupid enough, it's kind of like that doctor... Or, that, or no, it was that kid. He's like 19 years old and he mm -hmm. pretended to be a fucking doctor because he watched all those yep. fucking um, medical dramas and shit. Decided, oh, I know how to be a doctor now because I watched all these fucking shows and called himself Dr. Love. If you believe like Trump, if you believe in Trump University is going to get you rich, then you're just as stupid as the people that fucking went to Dr. Love. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, I, I, I would say that's even stupider because, I mean, Trump's only credentials are ones he's made up for himself. That is true. Most of his shit is he's not an authority on anything. Like any other fucking cocksucking businessman, he fucking goes bankrupt at least fucking twice in a fucking year or some shit. Well, I mean, his father was the, the cocksucking businessman. He's just charismatic. I mean, he's not yeah, even. He's, he's like little Hitler, you know. Oh, no, my. No, nah, that's a You heard farce. it here first. <laughs> he's like little Hitler. He's the Broxies, man. <laughs> yoga, no, but yoga posers plug. Yoga hosers. 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 New you. Kevin Smith film. Silent Bob. But anyways, no, uh, fucking Trump, man, he's just, he's so full of shit, it's not even funny. He's coming it's out true. of his fucking ears. You can't trust a word the fucker says because he doesn't know if he's jacking off or riding a unicycle, man. He's just pulling shit out of his ass to be popular. Kind of, Hillary's doing the same fucking thing. Yeah. It just, she'll be whatever you want her to be. She's like fucking. Well, uh, at least she's a media whore. And at shit. least so Hillary is, is intelligent enough that you assume she's got some like ulterior motives. That is, I, I'll give I, Hillary that. I much. think yeah. Trump is just doing it to fucking do it. He's probably trying to get ready for a new reality show. For all oh, being honest with each other, yeah. you know, Trump in the White House, 2016. You no, know, be like no. fucking, uh, I don't know, Charles in charge without the fucking humor. I don't fucking know <laughs> shit. Well, um, Trump did get a very high-level endorsement, Kim Jong-un saying he would be a wise choice for America. Because America wants to listen to Kim Jong-un. So Trump, I'm going to tell you what, you get all these endorsements, doesn't Putin like him too? I, like, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. Uh, does Putin like anyone? Not besides really. Besides Putin? <laughs> He's a very misunderstood man. We'll just oh, leave really? that. Yeah, mm. very misunderstood man, that Vladimir Putin. But, <laughs> but no, I don't, I think it's just, fuck, I mean, for all intents and purposes, you know, if you know, why not make Kim Jong-un your running mate, Trump? I mean, <laughs> that'll be fucking interesting. This country will be gone in about two minutes. Speaking of crazy politicians, um, Mitch McConnell has commented that the Republican Party is at an all-time high. Oh, fucking bitch McConnell, you must be high. Let me just say, and if you are, I'm jealous. Shit. But, I mean, if you really think that the Republican Party is in a good fucking place, you're as delusional as the Democrats because you're more fucked up than they are. Because, I mean, let's be honest with us. Let's be honest with ourselves, people. The fucking Republican Party and the Democratic Party are fucking full of shit. It's all a fucking bullshit label they attach to themselves so they can say, well, I'm for this, they're for that, so you want to choose me. It's like a fucking school ground pissing contest. You know, <laughs> you fucking people cannot act like human beings and grow the fuck up to actually fix the problems in this country. The fucking problems in this country are more important than your little fucking pissing contest, you know? It's true. Hillary and Trump, you know, fuck. You know what, well, my grandmother once had a an idea okay. about the election process. Is you pick, you know, you vote, you don't have, like, any parties. Okay. You just vote for whoever's running, and whoever gets the most votes, that's your fucking president, and whoever gets the second most votes, that's your fucking vice president. That's the system we had for the first few elections. Really? Yes. So we're talking about like back in the old yes. George Washington yes, days. Yes, exactly. Shit. I did not know that, and yeah. I just learned something. Yep. But, no, it, it makes more sense, and you know what it would do? It would cut down a lot of the fucking bullshit, because what what good has political parties really done anybody, aside from, like, cause a lot of fucking animosity Absolutely. and unnecessary the well, violence it's, and arguments? Well, it's so cutthroat up until the primaries, and then mm -hmm. after the primary, primaries, you're taking a eviscerated party and trying to sew it back together, and it's just, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. Like, I mean, you look at... And the Republicans were the worst, because I guess there were so many of them, that's why it was the worst. Because you had, what, four Democrats initially, mm -hmm. and the two dingleheads kind of, like, fell to the wayside, and then it became, you know, Bernie and Hillary, you know, standing off. And fucking, but the Republicans, they had at least 20. 
mm-hmm. of the yeah. dumbest motherfuckers I have ever fucking seen. You know, the only one that really had any sense, though, was that fucking... Uh, yeah, Kasich, or Kasich, whatever the fuck yep. his name is. Yeah, John Kasich, he was kind of like your grandfather that wandered into the fucking election and didn't know what the <laughs> fuck he was doing, and he just kind of like, just, you just started talking sense, you know? Because Ben Carson, he was a fucking looney tune. He fucking endorses Trump. So uh, so who do you think Trump's running mate's going to be? I mean, you've, you've said Kim Jong-un, but I don't think that's realistic. No, that's not realistic at all. Um, I don't know. Uh, Bernie? <laughs> that's gonna happen. A, fu- a fucking a, a commie and a capitalist. That's the fucking odd couple right there. Yeah. There's your reality There's show. There's your Trump. reality show. That's your fucking reality show. Donald and Bernie just chilling. Or weekend at Bernie's. So. Oh. <laughs> He's old, but he's not that old. Weekend at Bernie's 3, guys. <laughs> You're looking for a reboot sequel. They, I mean, seriously, it's a very underrated film, you know? Yeah. Well, speaking of things being under other things, we've got the Gothard Base Tunnel in Fido, Switzerland. 35 miles long, cost $12 billion to construct. Deep Did you like my smooth sub segue there? I like it. It's yeah. long, deep, and wide. Yeah. Um, apparently, to christen it, they started with some interpretive dance. I'm not even kidding. I mean, um, what, how else can you do it? I mean, yeah. interpretive dance, guys. So, um, in other transportation news, Takata cars, reportedly some of the worst offenders with the, the grenade airbags, I mean, whatever you want to call oh, it. Oh, yeah, I remember, I've remember. heard about it. They're, they're, they're still being sold, and there's seven million more to be recalled. It's, you know, I'll be perfectly honest with you, that these motherfuckers are like borderline Hitler. You know, they're on a, le- no, they're on a level with that, because... They, they, they knew about it, and they still let him be released. Exactly. That's like that Lee Iacocca cocksucker. His name even sounds like a cocksucker name. But anyway, no, I'm, I'm being serious, though, because, no, I mean, yeah, that motherfucker yeah. is more of a murderer than goddamn Adolf Hitler, because the thing about it is, is he did it for no other reason that it was going to cost him money. Like, yep. human life was going to cost less than it was to yep. fix his fucking vehicles. Now, how fucking shitty is that? The same thing with these motherfuckers. Fix your goddamn shit. Just because it's cheap... Doesn't mean it's good. Take it from somebody who knows. Anyways. The fuck just happened? <laughs> Cheap is not always good, people. That's very true. Cheap is not always good. Um, so you don't always find what you're looking for. Well, and speaking of um, dis- disparaging earnings, we've got a, a very slow weekend at the box office despite two big releases. Um, uh, and I, I don't know. And I, I think that the way they write these articles all the fucking time, I, I guarantee, like, in one week, you'll see at least ten articles about how oh, Hollywood's tanking, it's not relevant anymore, all that shit. They've been writing these fucking articles since the goddamn 50s when fucking television came on the scene. Yeah. It's kind of like all of these mediums, they have survived this fucking long. Radio's been around for uh, oh. since the 20s, or no, the early 1900s. Yeah, yeah, yeah the phonographs and all that yeah. kind of shit. That medium's been around when TV came along. Oh, radio's dead, but and then film. You know, it's just we have all these mediums to appease everybody. I mean, there's still people that listen to the radio. There's there still are. people that watch television. There's there still are. people that watch, you know, go to the movies like me. I go to the movies almost every fucking week, and Why I don't. Aren't you privileged? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I mean, if you go to the right theaters, it doesn't cost you out the ass. That's very true. It's the fucking multiplexes that are yeah. just like just ass raping you but the reason why the amc pro ass rape pro ass rape well they were the looney tunes that were like we're gonna have people talking on cell phones yeah yeah and that's so stupid that brings me back to the previous video i had in my movie corner about people can't pull themselves away from themselves to just watch a fucking movie we had two good movies out this this past weekend memorial day weekend and you know i never understood what, though, what movies were they x-men apocalypse and alice through the looking okay. glass and I never understood why, you know, you know, I go to the movies on Memorial Day. Or, you know, well, it doesn't matter what fucking weekend. The fact that it was Memorial Day weekend did not change the fact that I was going to the movies or not. And a lot of these people, you know, maybe they don't want to go to the fucking movies on weekend. It, maybe it's just not the movies themselves. Maybe motherfuckers just don't want to go see. Because they were good movies. Very entertaining, mm-hmm. solid entertainment. But the one thing that pisses me off the most about the way you know, they write all these fucking articles. Mm-hmm. Is it's borderline sexist. That's very. They true. don't recognize, and a lot of the articles are very fucking ignorant. And it's like, because I read one, the headline was like Johnny Depp's movie tanked. Yeah. And it's like it's not his fucking. He's in it, but he is not the main character. It's like uh, Batman, mm-hmm. the Tim Burton one yep. that came out. Jack Nicholson got fucking top billing yep. over Michael Keaton, who was the fucking hero of the movie. Yep. 
just because you get top billing does not mean you are the main character of that film. It just means that you have more standing yep. than the actual main character. It was fucking Lawrence of Arabia was goddamn Peter O'Toole's first movie. Yep. And introducing Peter O'Toole, well, it's still his movie. It's yep. not, well, this is, you know, Alec Guinness's new movie. No, it was <laughs> it's goddamn Peter O'Toole. But Mia Wasikowski is the main character. That is her fucking movie. She leads the fucking thing. You wouldn't have goddamn Alice in Wonderland without Alice. So yep. if you're going to write fucking articles, do them right, people. You're fucking professionals. I'm a goddamn amateur and I'm better than you. So think about that for a fucking minute. Get your shit. I mean, I don't know. And I think it's just the gossip shit is yeah, what fucking just grinds TM, my fucking TMZ bullshit. TMZ, that's a fucking, what's that one guy? Harvey Levin? He's a fucking know. looney tune. Yeah. I'm a lawyer. Go fuck yourself, Harvey <laughs> Levin. <laughs> just sit there sipping your fucking little cappuccino or your goddamn fucking wheatgrass fucking shake or whatever the fuck you're sipping on and your little cronies and shit. That's all fucking bullshit because who the fuck cares? You got to think about it too. These people are people like either just because they're celebrities does not mean they're any different. This is a job for them. They have their lives to live like we have our lives to live. Why fucking invade that? Paparazzis are the lowest form of fucking scum on this earth. I'm sorry. I hate to say that, but they fucking are because you are... Princess in Diane. It fucking exactly. No. You killed Princess Diana, whoever the fuck you were, you paparazzi fuckers. But the point is, is like, and if you haven't seen La Dolce Vita, Fellini kind of predicted all this shit because in the, in the early 60s, it had just begun. Yeah, like it was. It wasn't as prevalent as it was now. I'm, well, and even back in the '50s, you had the gossip columns mm -hmm. and you did. shit you did. with uh, Hedda Hopper. I think it was Hedda Hopper. I may be wrong about that, but you're probably right. But it's it, the one bitch that was just like the the gossip queen and yeah. shit. It's been going on forever, but it's gotten worse with the fucking 24-hour news cycle yeah. and shit. At the end of the day, the celebrities they are people like everybody else. They have a job that they do. They do that job. And they have their own private lives. We have no right to know what, unless they're diddling kids or fucking planning genocide well, or fucking... Fucking Woody Allen, I mean, he gets less press than... You know, that is true. Why don't we point these cameras to the petter asses and the, and the killers and the fuckheads yeah. and all this shit? You, you leap. But it's still, even Your on that stands. note, we have... You know, this is America. We're not supposed to be invading everybody's fucking shit. Oh, well, you know, you put yourself in the public eye... You know, you caught... No, you really didn't, you yeah. know? Now, that being said, you can, st you know, still do parodies and shit and make Absolutely. fun of people, but that's not art. That is not art. That is fucking invasion of privacy. Parasitism. Parasitism. That's yeah, a good... Yeah, I don't know if that's a word. word but... I, it's a word now. Yep. It's not. We're coining it. Broken leaf. Remember it. But, I don't know, that's... An, I kind of went on a rant there, but that it's shit right. pisses me off, yeah. man. Just it's just fucking... So. It's vile it and is. disgusting that... We we as a society want to invade people's fucking shit. We're nosy. We're a nosy fucking society, and it's no. fucking just sickening. It makes me want to projectile vomit exorcist style. Get over your fucking self, people, and just don't worry about other people's shit. Worry about your own shit. No. Do your own thing. It's your thing, man. Do what you want to do. Okay. We got anything else on the docket? I think that's it. Well, cheers, and... Worry about your fucking selves. I'm Will White. I'm Ethan Griggs. And this has been Information in a